Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm on my way to my Mahindra dealer to get the required supplies for my 50 hour service. So we'll, uh, we'll go get all that stuff and come back and uh, get the tractor all hooked up. All right, well, I'm fixing to get started on the 50 hour service. Uh, let me show you the, the fluids and stuff I bought from the dealer. So hold on a second. Let me see if I can get this thing flipped around here. So for my engine oil, I got the Mahindra 15W40. Uh, that's for my particular temperature range. I've got an oil filter from Mahindra. The part number is listed there, 0060173310 Bravo 1. I got a, um, this is the suction, the canister filter, the suction filter for the hydraulics, and that's uh, 00001342 Papa 04. And again, that was like, uh, that filter was 45 bucks. The oil filter was 1650. I don't know how much the oil was. What I'm gonna do for the 50 hour service, I'm gonna change oil, oil filter, I'm gonna check the coolant level, I'll show you that. I'll check the radiator hose and tighten if it required. Uh, the fan belt tension, the transmission fluid. I'll clean the transmission strainer. Uh, I'll check the tire pressure. I'll, I probably won't check the tire pressure. I'll probably just add some air if it needs it. I've got mine full of water. Uh, I'll look at my wheel, uh, my lug nuts, my front axle oil, I'll check that. And I'll change the hydro suction filter. That was the $45 filter I showed you and uh, grease all my Zerk fittings. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, to get to the oil drain plug, there's two plugs underneath the, the tractor. And so, they're, again, they're seven eighths. And so, as if you're looking from the driver's seat, I'll go down here. Get my creeper out. And I'm sorry for the crappy uh, camera work here. So let's see what we can find. So again, this is the this is the skid plate. This is the skid plate for your front drive shaft. This is for the 4540 and 4550 models. And this will be your drain plug here. Alright, there's one on the other side as well. You can see it there. So you can use either one. Either one is fine. Alright, but I'll take this one out because that's where I got it. Two gallons of oil goes into this thing. 2.14 to be exact. Okay, this is what your oil looks like after 50 hours. It's actually pretty dirty, surprisingly. So, uh, let's see if I can get up underneath here. But we'll drain that. The owner's manual says let it drain for, I think it said 15 minutes, something like that. So we'll just leave the bucket under there and let it drain while we go do some other stuff. All right, to simply check your coolant levels, I mean, there's on the 4540 and 4550, you just simply have to go to the top of the tractor and your radiator cap is list, lift, located underneath here. Again, this engine's not hot, so I ain't got to worry about that. And my engine is, my coolant level is perfect, and it's nice and green. I don't know if you can see how green it is there, but it is green. So that step is complete. It's always handy to make sure you have some shop rags around. Okay, so next, next thing we have is uh, some transmission fluid 
And that transmission fluid is located in the area down here by the gear shifter. So what you have to do is you have to, it actually says transmission oil on the top of mine. I don't know if all of them show that or not, but it's here. Okay, to check the, to check the transmission fluid or the transmission oil level, uh, I have to use an adjustable wrench. It's a, little, a little bigger than a, but it came out pretty, pretty easy there. So it says to take it out, pull it out. So you can see the level here. You have two marks on it. Can you see those two marks? Here and here. It's got to be in between those two marks. Mine may be a little low. I had a loose hydraulic line on it. And I leaked some fluid. So I bought some extra hydraulic fluid to, to check it with. So let's just see. Man, that stuff's clean. And again, while all this is going on, the oil is draining. Oh yeah, she's fine. All right, I'll check the front tire lugs now. Front is seven eighths. The back tire, the back wheel lugs are an inch and an eighth inch and an eighth for the for the back wheels I'll check those now okay it's been a, about 15 minutes or so you can see there's no more oil draining so I'm going to go ahead and put that drain plug back in it. One thing I want to point out here is for this oil filter. Again, this is on what be the right side or the passenger side, if you will. The right side of the, of the engine is this thing. You turn it clockwise to loosen it. All right, so you turn it clockwise to loosen this filter. So I have an oil filter wrench ready. I'm just going to set it in my little container down here. Alright, to replace it. Oh, the new one's red. Huh. Open the right one. This part number for the 4540, 4550 was 006 017310 B as in boy 1 oil filter. $16.50 what I pay for it. I don't know why I do this, but it's what my daddy showed me. I always put a little bead of grease, or uh, grease, a little bead of oil around the seal. And then you're going to counterclockwise to tighten her up. And we make sure you don't over tighten it. That should be fine. Okay, on to the uh, suction filter. The suction filter is located here. So we'll change that bad boy next. Okay, so same thing on this filter. This filter is turned clockwise to loosen. So you put your filter wrench on there and turn it clockwise.
This is why you buy some extra hydraulic fluid to put in there. Make sure it's clean. Okay, this little booger right here, I had to pause the camera for a little bit because it took me forever to put this thing back, the new one on. Part number is 00001342 Papa 04. Anyway, so <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want y'all to hear me saying words that aren't appropriate for young viewers out there. So that little booger, it was for some reason it was hard to put on. It's counterclockwise to tighten, but it was it was difficult. I I don't know. Maybe the maybe the canister wasn't machined well or something would be my guess. But anyway, got that done. Now let's go uh, put the oil and stuff in it. Okay, to recap, what I've done so far, I've drained the oil, I've changed the oil filter, I've checked the coolant level, I've checked the transmission fluid, I've checked the tire pressure, the to I've torqued the wheel nuts, changed the hydro suction filter, so now I've got to add the oil and uh, check some belt tension and stuff. So let's raise the hood. I've already had to pull the grill up. So we raise the hood. Look up under here. Now this is where, this is your oil cap here. Again, this is the left side. This is the left side of the engine. And this is your oil filler cap right here. It has a tube that goes under it. Uh, it's right behind, it's right behind your fan, right above some uh, lines there. So it looks, and it's got a little, little valve, a little, Pressure relief valve thingy. I don't know the technical term. Pressure relief valve thingy, I think might be a technical term. Anyway, so how do you get that off? With a flat screwdriver. All right, so you simply take your flat screwdriver, pry it up under here, like so, and it works its way loose. And then you just remove it. Make sure you don't get any debris down in there. All right, so that's where your oil is going to go. So let's fill it up with two gallons of 15W40. Two gallons 15W40. I bought my oil from the Mahindra dealer. So it's the Mahindra oil. I, f I figured the first 50 hour oil change, I'll use the Mahindra products. And uh, that way if anything goes wrong, I can... Uh, I can show them my bill of sale and keep good records. So now I got two two gallons. Okay, now that it's drained, you just simply put the filler cap back on it. Simple as that. Alright, so now I've got to check the radiator fittings. So let's go around there and check those. Uh, uh, you can depress the belt here. That belt is fine. Let's go check the other side. It wants you to, uh, the owner's manual says to check all your connections. So you check these to make sure they're tight. Mine are tight snug and then check your belt which is up in here behind this is your belt let's see if we can get a shot of it this way let's see there's my finger can you, can you see my finger twitching all right there's your belt and my it has enough tension in it it says about a half inch and that's about what mine has in it okay let's look at my checklist and see if i've got everything my checklist says to change oil and oil filter. We did that. 
Check the coolant level, did that. Check the hoses, and we did that. Check the belt tension, we did that. The transmission fluid, we did that. Check the tire pressure, we, we can do that. Torque the wheel nuts, we did that. Check the front axle oil, we haven't done that yet. Change the hydro suction filter and grease all nipples. Okay, so here's what I'm, here's my checklist that I got. Uh, let me show you something. While I'm thinking about it. So I still have a couple things to do, right? So I've got to... Holy cow, is this place a mess or what? This is what we're going after. This is, this is the owner's manual for the 4540-4550. Alright, and in the back... That's all your charts for your lubrication and greasing. And this is your service schedule. And this is what I'm going after. My oil and oil filter, it's page 86 and 75. You can see the little hash marks at 50. All right? And then I just made my checklist going down through here, this column. And that's the checklist I'm using. It's in back of your owner's manual. So maybe I can, I'll just do this slow so you can pause the video if you don't have an owner's manual. How's that? It's this column. There you go. Okay, your front axle oil is located here. And so I don't have a wrench. I don't know what size wrench that is, so I just use channel locks and get it off there. And you just simply, it's like a dipstick. And it's good. It's in between the two lines. So that's good. You got to check this stuff on nice level ground. Tighten her up. There. <clears throat> and since I'm using channel locks on that, what I'll do is I'll make a mental note of that. And... Just keep an eye out on it, make sure it ain't getting loose. So on the other side, you have the same thing. Front axle oil. And you simply check this side as well. Hey, thanks for watching. The uh, 50 hour service is pretty simple to do. All you get, basically you're changing oil and filters. And, and a couple more steps. So use your checklist in your owner's manual. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need an oil filter wrench, you're going to need a something to catch the oil in, about two gallons worth, three gallons worth, because you got some hydraulic fluid that's going to come out as well. So, you know, get an old five-gallon bucket or something to stick under your tractor. You're going to need a funnel. You're going to need some channel locks or something that will fit that front axle uh, oil dipstick. I didn't have the uh, big enough socket, uh, so I don't know what size it is. But you need a seven-eighths socket. For the oil drain plug and your front tire lugs you need an inch and an eighth for your rear lug nuts and then you need an inch and a sixteenth for your transmission oil dipstick and uh whatever the front axle oil is i don't know i use channel locks as you can see in the video so anyway hope this helps you uh it's, it's a simple process do it at your 50 hours it cost me uh i want to say it's 154 dollars something like that to get it all done uh to get all the lubes and oils and uh, filters and whatnot. Anyway, hey, look, there's going to be a picture of a barn pop up here. Go ahead and click on that. That will subscribe you to the channel. We do a lot of Mahindra videos um, and also uh, land management. We have a hobby farm here, so we'd love for you to join us. Follow us on social media at Instagram is uh, at Hamiltonville Farm. Our Facebook page is Hamiltonville Farm. Go over there, click on like and like that page as well. You can uh, follow along with us there. We'd appreciate all your support and we'll talk to you soon.